Hey there, how are you doing? I'm going to show you how to create this uh, dotted vortex in a rhombus this time. Uh, last time we did it in, uh, in circles. Uh, we used the circle as a reference and of course there you had to use the replace spine in order to achieve that result. Here you don't need to use replace spine, it's even more simpler. It also uh, looks pretty unique. So yeah, before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified of the daily updates. And let's jump in. I'm gonna use this here as a reference, reference, put it here. And uh, make sure you're in here in, in fill. So you don't, you don't have any stroke, click on none. So you, you deselect the stroke. Let's say you have some colors in, this, in the stroke. You, you push this to the none and you don't have it now and you put it to the fill. So the fill is up here. Okay, go here to the ellipse tool select the ellipse tool press shift plus alt and start creating your first circle now press and hold alt and drag it press shift also to isolate it and you know press shift plus alt again and hold it and scale down the circle select both go to object blend and make from here we're going to go and double click on the blend tool click previews specified set steps and decrease the numbers of the copies decrease the number so you have some uh, space going on here between the circles 13 14 i'm going to go with 15 click ok and i'm going to create new copies i'm going to press and hold alt as you can see, there's like two little arrows now and just drag it. Press and hold shift, rotate it twice. And we need to fit this right here when, where they intersect. And of course it just snaps. So you need to put it right here. It's pretty easy because it's just going to snap there where they intersect. So it won't be a problem. Create a new copy, same process, rotate it twice with shift and place it there. And we're almost done. All right, let me right click and no. Select them all and press control G. So now you grouped all these elements. And now press and hold shift to rotate it once and now you made a rhombus from here go to effects distort and transform transform click previews i'm gonna make like i don't know 20 23 yeah, 23 copies is pretty good i'm gonna decrease the horizontal percentage to 89 let me check it out with 89 88 hmm i think 89 is pretty okay and now here at the angle you just need to rotate it i'm gonna rotate it like this 5.5 i think it's pretty good be exactly like a square but it's not like a square i'm thinking to put it like seven now it's like more like a square anyways just click ok and this is how you make a nice uh, dotted vortex uh in a rhombus thank you so much for watching don't forget to check out the other video also how you make the spiral one and yeah uh, don't forget to like and subscribe have a great day bye bye